Hi everyone, it's MJ and in this video we're going to be looking at why stats is important and what is the best way to study it. But before we do that, we need to ask ourselves a question. What exactly is statistics? Now, if you're thinking about, you know, all those weird and wonderful graphs and this really long definition, then you're wrong. Okay, technically you're not wrong, but you are being inefficient because what stats is, it's simply this. It's taking data and finding information. Now, why is that important? Well, if we look at the Enlightenment Pyramid, we see that we have data at the bottom, we then have some information, we then have knowledge, and then we have wisdom. In order to get from data to information, we need to process it through statistics. And then, yeah, to get from information to knowledge, we need to give it meaning. To get from knowledge to wisdom, we need judgment. But statistics is only dealing with data to information. But let me give a quick little example. Let's say we get the following data. We use our stats magic and we see that this is coming from a uniform distribution between the numbers of 1 and 6. We're kind of thinking about it as a dice with equal chance. And let's say we have a question which says, what is the price one should pay if you're going to get $75 for guessing the correct number? And you can use your knowledge and you can figure out that that is 12.5. Wisdom would be asking a question like, should you be gambling in the first place? But stats, we want that information. So let's actually look at it. The information that we need is the parameter and the distribution. Once we know that, we can start acquiring knowledge. But in order to get that information, we need to study the data. But let's look at data. You know, what, what truths about reality can we extract from data? Well, we can extract three. The first one is that variation is everywhere. I mean, you just have to go outside and look at the butterflies. If you, you know, here in Africa with me, you'll see all the giraffes or, or all the crypto kitties. You will see that variation exists. Now, truth number two is that if you can understand this variation, then you hold the key to success. And the third truth is that everything is connected. Now, Leonardo da Vinci said that, religion says that, and even Dirk gently says that. If, if you don't know why there's a little kitten turning into a shark, it's because you haven't watched this amazing show. Anyway, back to statistics. So variation is like variance, and that's one of the things that we study. Connection is like correlation. Again, it's something else that we study. Correlation is, is quite important, especially when it comes to investments, because if you understand this, you can own financial markets. So there, we've answered the question, what is stats? It's taking data, it's getting some information. But now you're probably wondering, you know, well, what's, what's the point of stats? You know, where, where will we use it? Well, you know this thing called science. Stats is the backbone of science. In fact, stats is the backbone of all the major professions. Whether you want to become an actuary, whether you're going into genetics, whether you're an engineer, whether you're a sports manager, whether you're in marketing, or even if you're going into computer programming, in all of these situations, you're trying to get information from data and you're going to be using stats. Now, these truths that we looked at We've actually known them for a long time. Since, since the dawn of time, cavemen, I think, have known these truths. Where it's getting confusing is the fact that we have so many different words to try and describe this whole randomness. But I mean, even if we look to the Holy Bible, we'll come across verses like this that say, The race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, nor bread to the wise, nor riches to the intelligent, nor favor to those with knowledge, but time and chance happen to them all. Now, it's interesting that the Bible talks about time and chance, because when you combine these two things together, you get something called the stochastic process, which is very advanced, but very, very powerful, and you can control the universe if you know stochastic processes. Anyway, coming back to stats, um, stats has got a very, very rich history. I mean, Isaac Newton was involved. There was a lot of intellectual rivalry. Um, but there, there's also like some minor characters. I mean, the guy who figured out the unbiased formula for the variance was the same guy who mathematically proved stellar parallax, which was essential for you know, grasping the heliocentric model of our universe. So stats is quite cool like that. But I mean, remember World War II? Well, 
a statistician, used stats along with cryptography to break the Enigma German code thing. So that was cool. Um, you know, food, everybody loves their food. Another statistician, Ronald Fisher, would use a test in order to devise the best method of getting the greatest yield. So the next time you're hungry, you know, maybe think of that guy. Um, if you've ever been sick, you've probably taken some drugs, but in order for those drugs to be you know, accepted, uh, they have to go through a statistical testing. So stats, I mean, maybe, maybe the best way to sum stats up is that stats is life. And that's why I thought it would be a great idea to create an online school that is all about statistics. Now you're probably thinking, especially if this is like the first video uh, that you're watching of mine, you're probably saying, who, who are you? You know, who's this guy who's talking here? So online I'm known as MJ, the student actuary. I've got my little YouTube channel. I've spent the past eight years passing all of the actuarial exams, specializing in finance and banking and doing my fellowship in investments. I've uh, got a major in mathematical statistics from university. I've written on artificial intelligence and journals of science. And I'm on level 212 of Candy Crush. Yeah, yeah, so I'm pretty cool. But what I'm really interested in is understanding learning. You know, how do we study? How do we acquire information and all of these things? And, and I gave a TED talk about it uh, back when my hair was quite, uh, quite long. But what it was doing is I was looking at, you know, a lot of the cognitive psychology and trying to blend this in with stats and trying to say, you know, what actually is the best way to study this subject? And the good news is, is that we have actually already started. Because step one in learning a new subject is to ask yourself, why is this important? Because then I can take that information and we can turn it into knowledge by giving it meaning. And as we see, stats has helped end wars, it feeds the, the population, it creates drugs for us to cure diseases, it can get us our dream job. So stats is important. The next question, you know, what does it do? Well, we've also got in depth about that. It stats takes data and gives us information. The next question is to ask, what is it part of? And this comes back to that truth number three, you know, everything is connected. So where does stats come into things? And there we showed it. I mean, every major field of study that uses empirical evidence needs to rely on stats, whether it's science, finance, medicine, all of this stuff does depend on stats. So now we can ask ourselves, you know, what is stats made out of? And this is where I think a lot of students get a little bit confused with stats or they get a little bit disheartened because there is a whole bunch of these abstract mathematical things that we need to know in order to handle stats. But remember, everything is connected. So let's see how these chapters are actually connected to one another. And that actually gives you a much better picture of what stats is. So remember, we've got our data, we've got our information, and we want to turn that data into information. So we're going to do that by looking at stats, and stats is a combination of mathematical processes as well as logical inferences. And we use this information now to answer questions or to optimize processes. But the whole thing was to look at data. You know, where does data come from? And all data is coming from random variables. And random variables have two things. They have parameters and distributions. And the stats that we're doing is trying to acquire information about these parameters and distribution. However, sometimes these parameters are unknown and they behave a little bit like a random variable, in which case they also have their own parameters and distribution. To add more confusion, sometimes we can have multiple random variables contributing to the data and we need to know how these things are connected or otherwise know what is the correlation between them. So I've kind of made this big picture of stats trying to show where each of the chapters fall in on the big scheme of things. And on the YouTube channel what we've done is we've made an introductory video for each of these chapters explaining how they contribute to the big picture. So you can see this is the random variable one and I just explain how it fits in. And, and then, of course, the, the actual work will then all be on the online school, which you guys can enroll in. Uh, if you want to see like a sample of one of the videos I've made, I have put the regression one on YouTube. You can see it got some nice comments and got some, got some likes, so that's great. Um, but I would almost recommend watching this video in the beginning. So I know regression is one of the, the, the later chapters, 
but there is a little bit of a trick to studying backwards. You know, just how like they took tomato sauce and they flipped this on its head and it just worked so much better. By studying something backwards, it can help you know what the end goal is and it can encourage questions because you're like, what is this? How did I do this? Where does this come from? And that is step six to studying. You need to question everything. So on the course, of course, we have got a whole bunch of exam questions and I've got some videos where I answer them and I explain how we got those answers. Now we are taking the exam questions from the profession websites of the actuaries and the idea being that if you can do stats in an actuarial level, you're doing it at the highest level. So you're going to understand the subject way better than anybody else. And then of course, step seven is to keep practicing as, you know, as we all say, practice makes perfect. So check out the online school and I mean, congratulations for making it this far into the video. So you can actually have a coupon code which will give you 23% off. It's called U23, gets you 23% off the course. Um, otherwise, you're more than welcome to follow me on the other social media stuff. I mean, I've just made this uh, stats uh, by MJ Instagram page. We have got some pretty pictures of some of the study notes that you'll see a lot more of in the course. So the main thing is to subscribe or enroll in the course, use that coupon code, and yeah, if this is a success, if this is a success, then in the same course, we're gonna start adding additional content on that stochastic processes, on mark of change, survival models, game theory, loss distribution. We're gonna keep adding that at no additional cost. So if this works, expect amazing things. But anyway, that is Stats by MJ, and yeah, go now and enroll. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.